Hey, what is up guys, it's the Ghost Hacker here, and I am back for another Visual Studios tutorial, and today I'm going to be showing you guys some, how to use the settings in Visual Studio. So now this is a very, very good thing to know, it's very helpful, and um, I'm going to be showing you two different cases, but this would help you a lot. So, um, we're going to hop right in here, if you don't understand what I mean yet, you will by the end of this tutorial. So first we're going to grab a button. Oops, I do not want that. Um, grab ourselves a button. And grab ourselves a text box. And finally, a label. Now, what I'm going to do first of all is for your clients that use your program, you might want to give them a little greeting message. So, say hello, welcome, and then the name. So, here they can put in the name and then it will set it. And I'll show you how to save that so it remembers it and you don't have to ask for it every single time. So we're going to just rename this button to set name. We're going to grab this label. We're going to change the default value to nothing because they're going to pick the name. Of course, the name, the name is not label one. <laughs> um, so we're going to double click the button. We're going to do label actually, actually no, just continue. Label one dot text equals text box one dot text, not slash text dot text. There we go. Now, if we start up our program, of course, this shall work. Put in your name here. And I actually just misspelled my name. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it is way too late if I just misspelled my name. Um, there we go. Um, there's my name. And it'll put it in there perfectly fine. But if we close it and we open it, it's gone. So it does not remember my name. So that's no good. We don't want to have to put in your name every single time. We're going to close that. Go back here. We're going to get a little label, which makes it a little bit hard. There we go. And we're going to actually go down to the settings or the properties, and we're going to scroll down. We're going to expand this little tab under data, or data, whatever you want to call it. And then property bindings, we're going to click the little three little buttons or three little dots. Click that. Now, you might have to select what type of setting you would want to save. Um, for the labels, it'll automatically select text but you might have to pick a different one. Um, but if you want to save the text, just go to text, of course. So most of the time that, that should be correct, but if it's not, just find text. Um, just click the little down button with the arrow, click new, and type in the name of the setting. Now that's not gonna be the name, that's just what it's gonna be called in the code and stuff. So we're gonna do client's name. Don't put a space, it might screw it up. I don't know. Now go to default value, we're gonna do Please um, set your name. There we go. Click OK. And click OK again. Now if we scroll back up to the text right here, you can see it has a little purple box beside it. That means that that is saved and it'll remember that. Now you can do this for any any value or any property in this. So you could do it so like if it's visible or not and everything. So we're going to leave that like that. Now if you start up a program again click or type in your name it'll put my name of course like last time close it reopen it and there it is it remembers my name so that is very good so in a different place say um, let's go into here and say you want to say uh, let's see what we're gonna do it's gonna I'm gonna make it so it says welcome then the name so I'm gonna add a quote right before or right after that equals and we're going to put welcome, space, make sure you put a space so there won't be a space in between welcome and the name. And then go outside of those quotes and put a plus sign, a little space, and there we go. So if we start that up, we put in our name. It'll say welcome Austin. If we close it, we open it, it's right there. Alright, so now we got that. But say if you want to do it, or uh, say, okay, the example I'm going to do is say if you have um, you have a bunch of different forms, like say you have eight different forms, and on each form you have a little label in the corner that says the version of the program. Now if you were to update your program, you will have to go to each and every single one of those labels and change them. Now that will get very tedious and it won't be fun. So instead we're just going to make a setting and it's going to set every single one of those labels to 
that setting that you had. So instead of having to change eight of them, we'll have to change one of them and it'll be, it'll be done. All of them will change. So to do that, we're going to go to project. It'll be the name of your project and properties. We're going to go down to settings and you'll see our other one client's name. And we're going to click right here to make a new one. We're going to do, I'm just going to name it V for version. And we're going to put the default value to whatever the version is. So say it's version 1.3. There we go, now we got that. And we're gonna go back to here, we're gonna grab another another label. We'll grab two, just so, it, you know, you'll be able to see it better. We're gonna change the default um, text to nothing, because we do not want it to have nothing. Why is that not working? Can I not do both of them at the same time, maybe? Hmm, could've sworn I could've, could've done that, but whatever. <laughs> um. Just erase all that. And now if we go back to the form load, so double click that, or not back to it, but open it, we're gonna do label two dot text equals my dot settings dot v and we're gonna do um label three dot text equals my dot settings dot v and now if we start up the program It'll say the version or whatever you put in that in the setting. And if we close it, we open it, it'll still be the same thing. And now if we go back to in here and change it, say we got a big update and um, it's 4.7 now. Of course, it wouldn't work like that, but you know, whatever. Uh, we start it again. Now you can see I changed both of those labels by only changing one piece of text. Now, if, just imagine you have like eight of those or even more possibly, it's going to take a long time to change all of them because instead of just changing this, you will have to go into here, you'll have to go to it, you'll have to go down here, type in the version, go to the next one, find it, if I can find it, <laughs> there it is, um, go to the text, type it in, go to the next one, type it in, go to the next one, and it'll take a long time if you have a lot. So it just speeds it up a lot and it, I find it a lot better. So um, that's how you can save the name. That's how you can speed up that the label thing. Um, now, of course, you don't have to have more than one. You can only use one. But if you only have one, it's kind of pointless. Unless you want to call it like in your code somewhere. Um, there's really no need. So unless you're using it in your code or have more than one label, there's no need for it. But um, that's how you do it. If you guys want um, any more tutorials or if you guys have any suggestions that you would like to see, um, go to my website, go to the contact tab, and uh, just send me a quick little message. I will be sure to do that um, tutorial that you tell me. And um, if you, or you can put it in the comments, of course. You don't have to go to my website, but I prefer if you do that because it's a lot easier. Um, I think that's all for this tutorial. And until next time, guys, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget to sum thumbs up the video if you like it. And bye-bye. Um,